Hello guys, this is Lina Slimo Yankee 2 Hotel. Today I'm gonna take part in the contest European HF Championship. That's very important and interesting contest. For that I turn my Elecraft K3 and my Icom IC7300 transceivers and my one kilowatt amplifier off. Yes, off. And I move my chair to this QRP setup, Icom IC705, because I want to use this opportunity of the contest to give a serious test for Icom IC705 in the very harsh, difficult contest conditions. It's going to be very many European strong stations during this contest. It did well in the VHF UHF contest. Uh, it's not for the high score, it's just for the making clear how this transceiver is gonna do in the contest. But before we start the contest, I have to climb up the roof and fix my NFET half wave antenna. I just wanted to install the uh, compensation coil because the SWR on the higher band is a, a little bit too high and I was not using this coil up till now. It's just the same antenna wire, just five turns of it, uh, which I wound around the five centimeter coil former. So, and here is the, uh, my antenna SCOM transformer. It's a powerful two kilowatt intermittent so it's more than enough for my QRO. Today I'm gonna use my QRP, but still I need also to, um, to inspect the box to see if, if, uh, if everything is fine, because after the heavy winter and heavy rains, I was not taking a look. So it, it seems like this contact is fine. And uh, I just cleaned the uh, coaxial cable contact and I will uh, put it in the insulation, wrap it in, into the self amalgamatic insulation again so i need to be in a hurry because it really starts raining all right so far so good i've just wrapped the coax junction with the rubber tape i've wrapped also the whole box one or well, several times with the same rubber tape in order to make extra extra moisture isolation all right so now i need to hoist it up on this little Pole. Now let's try to put it in here. All right, guys, very nice. I still have almost an, one hour and a half before the contest. My, I hope so, improved and fed half wave wire is back on the pole again uh, with the uh, small coil installed. I hope it will make some good influence on the higher bands. And then the wire goes up to the intermediate pole it's like six meters junk pole but still serves good and then the wire goes up there down and it goes up to this tree to this pine tree over there today my challenge is to operate the eu hf championship uh, just with this uh, and fed half wave dipole and ICOM IC705 running just bare 10 watts. All right, back from the roof and quick antenna check after I made this little small modification. So on 80 meters, probably nothing new, all okay. Yeah, we see around SWR around 1.6. Let's jump to 40 meters. All right, it's also around 1.6. 
All right, 10 megahertz, it's too much, 2.5. Definitely I'll need a tuner for this band. Well, but th this is not in the contest. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use 30 meters band anyway today. Let's see 14, is it improved somehow? Perfect. 20 meters improved dramatically. It was more than two, almost two, um, two, 2.5 probably as the blue era without the coil. With a coil, it's it's less than 1.5, maybe 1.2. I can check 18, but it's, it's it's not the contest band anyway. Also very good, less than 1.5. 15 meter band. Not so good really, so the coil seems doesn't work on 15 meters. Yeah, we see around 2.5 as the BR, it's, it's too much. 24, not a contest band, but still, let's check. Oh, more than 3. Let's check 10 meter band. Oh, no improvement. The coil, it seems that the coil didn't help a lot on 10 meters. The whole modification uh, was very su successful on 20 meter bands. On other higher bands, 15 meters and 10 meter bands, uh, the coil did not help. So probably I would need to adjust the whole wire, make it a little bit longer probably. But for today, on the bands where I do need a tuner, I will use the Elecraft T1 tuner, which obviously will tune. I'm not uh, suited to run this contest on 160 meters. Unfortunately, I don't have a suitable antenna. 10 meter band, guys, is totally dead. Unfortunately, bad luck for 10 meters today. So I moved into 15 meters and I hear the same local station, Lima Yankee Fire Echo. Let's, let's call it. Bulgarian station, Lima Zulu 9 Alpha. On 15 meters, uh, I have to use antenna tuner with the ICOM IC705. Lima Zulu 1 Zulu Fox. License 1969. Oof. European HF championship is interesting contest in that you have to transmit and receive the C, not a serial number of the QSO but RST like 599 and the first the years of your first license it's early afternoon now so it's time to check the 20 meter band 20 meter band is pretty noisy so there's a good idea probably to reduce the RF gain just a little bit up to like 95 percent so now we can see that the waterfall background is black with clearly visible station signals so that's that's good Okay, reducing gain helps, but there are waves of QRM coming and going, coming and going. All right, it's 20 minutes past 6 p.m. GMT. It's getting dark, it's evening, and 20 meters getting quieter, less and less stations. It's time to move on to 40 meters and fat half wave dipole and ICOM IC705 doing very well together and uh, I'm really surprised even about the quality of this um, receiver, of this transceiver. Uh, I think it seems to me it's even better 
than on the Eiko My C7 300. Less noisy, less noisy. The floor, the noise floor is lower. All right, 40 meters is nicely crowded band. So I think filter one, 1 1.2 kilohertz is a little bit too wide. We need 500 hertz at least. Oh yeah, much better. Let's switch filter. Filter number three. And just the shift helps a little bit. Stations are so packed that it's even difficult to tune into one even even with the narrowest filter. That's 40 meter band. But the quality rece reception quality is outstanding. Radio Whiskey One Alpha. Yes, 84, very crowded, but there's no kind of a cross modulation or, or any, any other artifacts of strong signals interfering with each other. That's, that's really where the SDR shines. It's midnight local time, 9 p.m. GMT. 40 meter band is very crowded, very lively, very interesting band. Is the band which never sleeps. Now I think it's time, last but not least, to try out 80 meter band. I'm running just 10 watts from the transceiver, but it's a, a, a bit less in the antenna. So I'm not technically QRP anymore, but anyway, each watt is very precious. Because I have to compete with 100 watt stations. Lots of stations and not that much noise, which is good. Sugar Mike 5, Alpha Charlie Quebec from Sweden. Okay, good. 960 kilometers between us. Delta Papa 7 X ray, German station. I'm trying to call already, maybe fifth or sixth attempt. No well. So, the work in the CW contest was really a good experience with ICOM IC705, except of one thing which should be said loudly and openly. I mean, the full break-in or so-called QSK system. It means that you theoretically QSK is when you can listen to the signal to, to you can receive between your sending dots and dashes even or in any the smallest pause you hear the receiver. This is very convenient, important and nice when you when you are in the contest when you or you are chasing a dx that's important uh, sometimes um, and you're getting used to it and you learn how to, to to do that to listen 
to the pauses to listen to the signal between even the dots and dashes. So, to do this on ICOM IC705, you have to switch to full break-in. Normally it's semi-break-in or just break-in, like here. And if you push the Vox button here, so you go into full break-in or QSK system. And supposedly, theoretically, ICOM's engineers think so, at least, you can listen to your receiver between your sending dots and dashes. So, in the reality, it's like this. you only hear the relay is clicking the relay is clicking all the time and nothing could be heard in between the dots and dashes that's really a shame that's annoying and this should be this should be improved i think in the future but well of course uh, it's not a firmware upgrade <laughs> you need to change the relays into a transistor switching system as it is done, for instance, in Elecraft radios. Take Elecraft KX2, Elecraft K3. I don't know about the Elecraft K4, but I'm sure it, it, it's, it's still there. Otherwise, CW work is pretty good and pretty nice, but not in the full QS, QSK. I need to return to the semi break in or just break in and work normally. was a good challenge and a good test for Rycom IC705 for my trusty Chewy Minibook laptop computer and of course a wonderful Begali Travelers keypad my favorite one thank you Begali so the statistics show that I have made 85 kiosos on 80 meter band 58 QSOs on 40 meter band, 64 QSOs on 20 meter band, 27 QSOs on 15 meter band, and 1 QSO on 10 meter band. Not bad for 10 watts and long wire or end fed half wave antenna. ICOM IC705 definitely is a good rig for the contest, HF contest, even for the CW contest. I was only participating in the CW category, or in the, in the CW class of the contest. No SSB this time. Very good reception, good filtering, good noise elimination which is very important uh, working CW. One thing which is shame it's a full break-in or QSK system based on relays. That's p simply nonsense, sorry to say. So normal QSK should be based on the transistor switching, not relay switching. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for participating in the contest. If we probably made a contact with you, 
If we did, if you made, please leave a comment in the comment section and please consider subscribing if you wish to be the first to know what else on, uh, on, on my channel, what's new on my channel. So far, good night, good luck, 73, see you later. This is Linus Limoyanki to Hotel 73.